everyone, welcome back to the D-Pad. Oh! What what have I done here? What am I doing in this place? You destroyed a criminal organization. Oh, what else is new? That was also a publicly um, operated Pokemon gym. Yeah. Congrats, kid! Oh, is he just moving in right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm John. I'm Rick. Yep. Oh, and I'm Jeff. And <laughs> this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu! Boy, though, what a <laughs> shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. Why am oh, I talking like this? God, today? Go Ooh, just that's brutal. Jump kicked off my balls. Yep, she does that a lot. Oh my that's god! Proud of herself I got right one now. of those gravity blankets. That's like the heavy blankets that make you feel yeah. good to fall asleep. But it's actually awesome because it's like armor because she can't scratch through it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. Uh, there it yeah. is. See, I like. I feel like that blanket would cool, that man. kind of blanket would be good in the winter Whoa. time, but in the summer, I want to like. I want to be open. Yeah, it Whoa, doesn't have much heat, but. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it. So in this version of the story, Blue has been getting like harangued by the Pokemon League. I guess yeah, because so. he's, he's a former champ. Yeah, I'm is he a former ready. champ? I'm yeah. still kind of lost on. Yeah, no. In this in this retelling, Blue did the first game and succeeded, yeah. and you are following in Blue's footsteps. When, yeah. we, when we last yeah. spoke to the Professor Oak, um, what he, happened to Red? Uh, that's a good he's question. He's probably the secret final boss if I had to guess. It could be. Well, it's also like... Well, I guess in s Gold and Silver, Red is just like training in the mountains. Yeah, he becomes like a weird loner. Yeah. Not sloner. Oh, no, you <laughs> poor, <laughs> your poor rival. First challenge Walks in here. and walks directly into... Oh, shit. Into Blue. <laughs> into Blue that's awesome. instead of Giovanni. So maybe Red's the Elite Four champion then, and it's maybe. not actually your shitty rival. Well, so rival. that actually, as we you know start heading towards Victory Road, this, this brings up an interesting point that got discussed off mic at one point, which is like, all right, so in Gen 1, yeah. you've got the champion in the Elite Four, mm -hmm. and, and the Elite Four consists of, was it Agatha, Bruno... Lorelei, Lorelei and uh, Lance. 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 And the champion who, when you get there, is Blue. Yes. yes. And then you beat Blue and you become the champion and Blue isn't and then becomes, you know, by Gen 2, he has become the Viridian City Gym Leader. Yeah. In Gen 2, same Indigo League. is the same league for Kanto and Johto together. And it's got a, a mixing of like, so now you've got your, your Elite Four of, I forget his name, he has the mask. Um, I don't remember. I'm not going to remember. I was going to say William, guys. but that's not right. We even haven't played it on the channel. I, I forget his name. Idea. Uh, it might be William. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, that guy, I believe Bruno again. Koga. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Koga. Uh, yeah, that's a weird one, right? And then it's Koga's like daughter. In the, no. Uh, yeah, she she's now running the Fuchsia Gym. And there's a there's another like silver-haired lady whose name I forget. <laughs> and the champion is Lance. So, my, like, and the implication is that because Red went off to the mountains to be a fucking weirdo, <laughs> yeah, that oh, Lance was kind of Fuck. forced to have to become the champion because there there was a vacancy. And I'm kind of wondering, like, so one, does the champion just get to choose their elite four? Like, how does that work? And also, who was the champion before Blue? Was it Lance or was it somebody else? We you never can't use really revives at all. So fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> we never, we never really a couple get of stars in. like knowledge of that. I mean, yeah, I guess it could have been Rando Kid for all we know. It could have been. Has there ever been a game where we <laughs> it get to, was you? Has there ever yeah. been a game where we get to know a former champion like this game? Technically, but it's also playing yeah, with Leon, the, the right? meta itself, and like Blue is only a champion, a former champion in this game because he was the champion. In you know red and blue or in yellow technically, but like, mm -hmm. do we ever oh, get we, to? Oh, you're saying the former champion from before the game even starts? Yeah, yeah. Like red and blue are the only former champions that we ever know in yeah. any games. Lance was the former champion. Was he? Yes, I remember hearing that somewhere. Before okay. blue, before Gary became, dethroned him. Um, so the so who was the is, who was the last elite four yeah. who's just gone? Exactly. Well, that, just like, my what's... theory. I was telling Rick this off mic the other day. My theory is that it used to be like. Lorelei was just the fucking champion. There was no Elite Four. And then somebody beat Lorelei, and they're like, fuck, what do we do? I don't know. You make it a sequence thing. Right. And then you it would hang out and be one of so my... So it was the Elite my... Three until Lance beat him. And then the Gary beat game, him, so now it's the Elite Four. The whole game, they're talking about the Elite Four, Yeah, though. sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like, we I, can I was going to ask... Yeah, well, I wanted to ask, is there anything I can do before I no, proceed? And I have really. a shit ton of money to burn. Is there anything I can do with that? Um, um, you can go balls. buy... T uh, TMs and TMs and things like that. Yeah, I and guess I could fly to sell it on and buy some TMs. Is sell it on the only place to buy TMs? Yes, I think so. I think so. Um, I think I've already fucking done that. Fuck it. So an interesting thing here is like, we got a weird slice of 
Japanese culture and like to the West in like a new format that we didn't really understand in the '90s of the whole like Elite Four thing. I feel like kids in the West who grew up in the '90s, you hear Elite Four and your brain jumps to Pokemon immediately. Yes. In Japan, Elite Four as like a term or a thought or whatever is like just kind of a common trope of like, yo, this is my crew. Yeah, like oh, cool. this is my elite four or my elite six or whatever. Like they're oh. my entourage essentially. Oh, okay, he handily beat Gary. Apparently, wow, that took in about like wow, six yeah, minutes. holy yeah. shit, five man. minutes. Jeez, Gary's like, hang on, I got to tie my shoe, and then there's a bloody Pokemon on the ground in front of him. <laughs> he forgot to uh, heal his Pokemon after his last battle. Oh, oh, oh right. I wasn't prepared for this at all. Did, well, did you heal? No, but you're I mostly full. Okay. I did heal. Yeah, oh, wait. I'm fine. I'm not really worried. I thought I saw one Pokemon that didn't have full, but that would be weird because I went to Pokemon Center. My favorite oh, race car, Pigeon. The French Pidgeotto. Oh, this is not a great matchup. Well, this right is, yeah, this could be slightly better. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? <laughs> Level 52. Like they are, they are. Oh no, yeah, this is. Uh, this you is know, serious. we're still we're still above level, but like they are catching back up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. He's probably gonna have flying moves. I'm sure the you can switch in with Pikachu just fine. I know. Do, I'm trying to think. Does, does Electric specifically <laughs> resist Fissure. flying? No. Does Ice? Does Ice uh, resist I don't flying? Know. Does Flying so. resist flying? I'm like losing all my type brain, which is really bad on the day I'm gonna fight <laughs> the Elite Four. Yeah, holy shit! No, I think Articuno would have been a fine switch in. Also, he would have been fine too. That's what I was between. I was trying yeah. to see if one was also it does look like Electric resists other. flying. So. Did Electric it really? Does really yeah. fly. It said not very effective. That's what I thought. Huh. God damn. There are no rules, Ben. We make them up. We're rewriting reality as we it go. It doesn't really make sense for electric to be good against flying. Like at all. Eh, no, because electricity Cause will strike the thing that's highest. There's that, and also well, birds routinely fuck There's themselves no up from on that bird to the ground. The air. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're kind of. I don't know. If you wouldn't it rather hit like a tree nearby? If it yes. can, but birds definitely get struck by lightning. And okay. do they die when that yeah. happens though? Because oh no, yeah, well, well there's nowhere for it to go. Oh so yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> the that's the whole problem. Yeah. Maybe one thing if it I was thinking backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it travels through the bird and then out the bottom of the bird <laughs> yeah. and then. To but the not ground. very well. <laughs> no, it, the it's bird mostly part gets of the, cooked. Yeah, in the it's part of the reason <laughs> like that humans are <laughs> occasionally able to survive lightning strikes is that we're close enough to the ground that right. the electricity yeah. it, it can pass through and rubber shoes is us. a good thing right yeah it takes something like uh, uh, i don't want to say it i forget loud. if i forget if you no, if rubber you shoes are rubber bad no. cuz then you're not then you're not you might grounded be covered in rubber so this is hard there's a lot of rules if lightning hits you on the top of the head and you're oh, so fuck. unlucky for that to happen. Oh, that's what that looks like. I didn't get a chance to see what it looked like on Mega for X Charizard and specifically. Evolution yeah. Y. <laughs> yeah, I mean it does. Mega Ev X and Evolution, the Evolution. If if I'm gonna lightning go hits this you. route because it's probably better. If he has um, an ice type I mean, or something, it'd be cool to see it. I'm assuming he'll have a so thunder. I think Pokemon. X. Uh, so I was gonna say Y would be better. Have like, and your feet are insulated. There's no way for the electricity yeah. to pass through. You. It creates more resistance, right. which means that You're you are burnt longer. harder yeah. by the lightning. The yeah. the idea, like, if you get hit by lightning, you want that current to pass through you as yes. much yeah. as possible. Yeah, I ideally, if you, if you had a little like chain that went from the top of your hat to the your bottom of your shoe, yeah. you'd probably save yourself a bunch of difficulty because the yeah, lightning would find that is the easiest that, yeah. and the great majority of the potential yeah. energy would go through that. probably be fine except for maybe a burn from the metal. Quite possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More than Lightning's right. really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's, yeah. it's, it's like a plasma, to, right? It, is, it plasmifies. So. The, so lightning is a difference in potential that yeah. uh, it's a transfer of energy. Uh, basically. Heating ground the air, is not good. It creates here, a plasma which no longer electricity can travel through really easily. Because air yeah. is an insulator, plasma is not. Right. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. plasma is just a bunch of fucking electrons, really hyped up. I have to wonder <laughs> if it's yeah, possible. I'm an let's electron. Let's go. Yeah. So there have been a bunch of mysterious like <laughs> situations just kind of scattered throughout history of like. Oh my god, look at all these birds that are dead just without explanation and I have to wonder if it's possible in a bad enough like thunderstorm, especially if there's not a lot of if maybe if there's not a lot of rain or whatever, but like if if there's enough like lightning, would it be possible for lightning to strike, hit a bird, come out the bird to another bird and just like hit like 14 birds on their way to the maybe. ground? Maybe. I mean yes. ball lightning is also potentially real. Ball lightning is terrifying to me <laughs> just as a concept of like, yeah, just free flowing lightning that could kill you just because uh, like it's yeah. just around. If if you have some wet ass birds flying through the air, the something the air gap 
per like I don't know the exact number. I'm just gonna say a thousand volts per inch. It's yeah. probably not that. But for it to travel through an inch of air you need a thousand volts. Sure, yeah. A bird, especially a wet bird, is a much better conductor, <laughs> even for those two, three inches. Yeah. You hear that, that wet like, birds? Yeah, watch <laughs> you the can fuck drive out. a train. <laughs> fuck. Stop flying in the rain. Um he's a little bit No, he's fine. I think he said Jolteon's coming out, so I'm just trying to think. Like, I mean, you could send out Yggdrasil also. Anyone would be fine. Yeah, yeah but he's got no moves that are good against a Jolteon. It's okay. Just it's okay to be neutral. Wah, wah, it's just, wah, uh, wah. I don't think like is plant him neutral. To death. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> grass uh, might actually resist. Grass resists lightning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but does lightning resist grass? No. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, whatever. Let's get him some, some action. Oh, yeah, lightning baby. is a bit of your a bit of a weak spot for you, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not terrible, and I forgot to do something that would have helped. Oh. Somebody put in the comments. Somebody go on the internet and look up what the the <laughs> the resistivity of like STP air is. I don't think. I think it's probably around a thousand. All right. Well, I think I'm just gonna commit to this. Oh, he might use pin missile, and that would be shitty. Oh, straight dodge. I think poison uh, doesn't. Yeah, but it's not does, stab. And does poison resist yeah, bug? Point. There's a weird relationship there, and I don't remember what it is. Who can say? Oh no, or was it? I think bug and poison used to be mutually weak to each other, or some weird shit. I'm a tree. Or he'll just zap the shit out of you. Ah, oh, oh come on. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Up didn't matter. <laughs> I like how it plays <laughs> this little like harp. <laughs> It's, uh, but it's yeah. like a devastating move. Yeah, it, yeah. It's supposed to be him going into like a frenzy. And yeah. Like, yeah, it's being, very weird. Yeah. yeah, but it's like in, in Gen One, <laughs> in Gen One, Bug and Poison were mutually weak to each other, which is weird. Yeah. Now, it doesn't make any Bug sense is to me. now. What the fuck? Now Poison resists Bug, and does not is not super effective against, and is not super effective against it. Like they completely. Mm. <laughs> that changed around they how changed they work. the interaction fully. Yeah. That's this is why I can't unbelievably remember, confusing. Like, when people make fun of us for not remembering the type matchups, it's like, yeah. what the fuck do you expect? <laughs> it's different in like you know half the versions. <laughs> the irony is, if we had if we had never We've added played all these new fucking types, I don't if we had never remember. played or grown up with Gen One, we would not have any of these issues because Gen Two on has Probably. mostly been pretty stable. There were one but two Gen One is the game I played the, the most. Of. I know everyone in the. Yeah, yeah. I think the only the only thing I can think of that they definitely uh, changed yeah, that had nothing to do with adding a new type was Steel type changed in Gen. I want to say four. Like they changed it, it to was be, OP. It was yeah dominant. It yeah. used to have yeah. like nine resistances or something crazy like that, so and they dumb. toned it down to like six or seven. <laughs> Whoever came up with Steel the first time should have got fired. They were like <laughs> a little kid who's like, I'm gonna make it good against. Like all these different things. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be the best one. It's like rock, paper, scissors, gun. Gun yeah, always right. wins. Yeah. Steel is gun. <laughs> oh, actually, okay. Paper. So I shoot the rock. I shoot the scissors. They changed. Well, it. you can't break steel. Steel's the best. Like it wouldn't take any damage. They did <laughs> change what it was, what it would resist, but they changed it in Gen Six along with oh. the Fairy Edition. It used to resist bug, dark, dragon, flying, ghost, grass, ice, normal, psychic, rock, and steel. So 11 type resistances. What the fuck? That's so many. Now, and a bunch of common ones, too. Yeah, that's the thing, is it's meant to be that was the whole purpose of it, was that Wait. steel was meant to be, was meant to uh, I can't real earthquake? That was my plan, so oh, I uh, thought he could. I guess he can learn dig, so it's really fucking stupid that he can't, but yeah. um, that's dumb. I don't think I'm ever gonna use headbutt compared to these guys. What the hell was so. gonna say? Yeah, it was it, Steel was given all this stuff for the express purpose of like adding a an explicitly tanky type just by default. It's just weird to me because like Rock was already there and mm -hmm. Steel doesn't seem like rock a very Rock has a lot of weaknesses though. Water and grass and fighting. Steel, ironically. Yeah, Rock's water, actually a pretty bad type. Water and well, grass. I feel was... like they should have like adjusted Rock rather Maybe. than like add Steel because they're yeah. also talking about Pokémon are supposed to be like naturally occurring yeah, species. Yes, steel and is a having bit of a, a rough steel one. type. I mean, I know if there's also like psychic and like dark, which like whatever the fuck that is. But still, steel is like man-made. If they had yeah. you know? started yes. the series in Gen One with having stuff like Magnemite, and while it's not steel, but like Voltorb and Electrode, all the stuff like that. If they didn't have stuff that made an argument for steel yeah. in the beginning, 
They could have called it iron type because iron is elemental. Or just metal type, like the five Chinese elements. I think that's what st I think steel might actually just be metal type in Japan. Um, oh, really? That would make oh, okay. more sense to me, yeah. Um, it's no, it's actually steel type in Japan. Okay. All right. What do you think, Ben? Huh? Should I, I toss leaf seed or growth? He's got. He needs some coverage well, that's not is, just is fucking. Growth one stage of. I think it's attack two and special. Oh no, no it's, it's one of each. Attack and yeah. I don't love that actually. One, two, um, three, four, five, I six, think seven, growth nine, is ten. good. Um, but am I ever going to use it against Rick? Venusaur. I only care you, about Rick. I mean, remember, you will probably never use I growth ever you because you don't like those types of moves. Yeah, stab boosts. <laughs> um, that's true. Dark and Ghost are so, no longer resistant by you know, And at least but if like I get a, really desperate, I can Leech Seed Eevee. Yeah. Because Leech Seed persists even when Venusaur dies, right? Yes. Yeah. Unless yeah. they switch out, which ends the Leech Seed. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. There's um, a similar but move there's that a couple, doesn't care. I mean, there's a couple things going on there. Like, if you predict a switch and yeah. you get Venusaur out there, then you get a free growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And then... If you have Earthquake and Giga Drain or whatever, was it only Mega Drain or whatever you have? Mega. Now it's like, okay, you can hit either a physical weak Pokemon or a special weak yeah. Pokemon. So there's that element. And then Leech Seed can force a switch too. So there's like those kinds of things. That, but like... Yeah. No, I... I that, you know, it's, it's like... Are all it's, of these moves way, physical? It's no. way tougher to do that kind of stuff in a Nuzlocke where you're not... You don't have total control over covering all your team's weaknesses. I see what you're thinking, John. You know, Did I, I, I self-destruct Muck? Just sack like, up and you line. I've, I've, <laughs> cons I've considered it also. Yeah. Self-destruct is actually not that good, though. It's not self -destruct stab. Self-destruct isn't. Explo it's only good when it's stab. Explosion is better, and self-destruct has steadily... I feel like we say this and then get it wrong. Uh, my memory of self-destruct and explosion is that they've gotten nerfed more and more as time's gone on. Yeah. I think there was one point where it got a little bit better. I think like Gen two to three oh, or something. So it like no. poison jab better. is the only thing I'd take off of it, and I wouldn't even. I would. Do you have toxic? Wait, why would you take poison jab off of it? It's his best move. What's the power on it? It's 80, 80 100 physical like he is. Poison oh, jab, I'm 80, pretty sure, used to be like a 30 it used power to be move totally or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, are you guys like, thinking of poison let's sting? Make it poison, sting was de <laughs> poison sting was always crap. Maybe that's um, what I'm thinking of. So like Sludge Bomb's a little better, but his uh, special sucks, so th this has been better. Are either of them toxic or are they just poison? No, they're just poison. Okay. Is there a toxic in this gen? There is a oh. There's toxic itself. Yes. But um, Oh, yeah. Gen 1 to every, Gen 2, <laughs> Everyone can learn Toxic for some reason. Yeah. So Explosion started at 170 and also cut the target's defense in half for damage calculation. So yeah. it's basically 340. Oh, for Gen shit. 2, they upped it to 250, so it's basically 500. Yeah. Which is fucking crazy. crazy. Uh, and then in <laughs> Gen 5, it took until Gen 5 to no longer have the, the target's defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is the big thing. Yeah, that made it. So now it's it's still a very strong move. At 250, it's still really powerful, but it's the least powerful it's ever been. Mm. Yeah. I just see, I like Toxic in the in the, the PvP sense because you can basically curse a Pokemon. That, like, yeah. there's no way to get rid of Toxic unless you restat them. Like, if you sleep them, the Toxic goes away. Okay. Um, or... Can, no, I think it'll prevent sleep from happening if I remember correctly. Okay, because it's already toxic. It already has a status effect on it. But so if you, you if you did like a paralyzing move on something that's toxic, would it push toxic off, or would it, it would just not, not be able to be paralyzed? It wouldn't take paralyzed because okay. there's a strategy with um, some Pokemon that have ability called Poison Heal, mm. where they actually heal from being poisoned instead of yeah, damaged. Yeah. Uh, and no abilities put, in this game, but and right, right. But um, you can also give them a held item Toxic Orb, which applies. Toxic. Oh, and that's nasty. Yeah, and you just so, immediately start regenerating the moment. And then, I, so you both regen health and also can't get another status added yeah. to you. That's so. the big one right there. Yeah. That's like a big benefit. So I, so I'm pretty sure, from what I remember, is that you wouldn't, yeah. you can't push off an old status. Because mm -hmm. um, I feel like some Pokemon abilities are like recovers any status move when you switch them out, but there's no abilities in this game. Yeah, so, this so that wouldn't gonna, be here. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, there's berries. So I think there's berries that'll cure you of poison, uh, like, and you eat the berry and then you're fine. But um, can you even have held items in... Not in this game. Really? Yeah, nope. this game doesn't have held items. It does, this game, mechanically, when it comes to the Pokemon themselves, is basically Gen 1, but plus the, the, um, the special split. Didn't you have a Snorlax with a Chester Berry? Nope. We're thinking of um, Sword and Shield. 
Did we have one and just never used it? We did at one point pick up a Snorlax. Oh, no, no. So, I'm sorry. Uh, Thick Cheryl has a Chesto Berry because mm. she has. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's what it was. She's so thick. Goddamn. Thick <laughs> Cheryl's so fucking thick. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> also with two C's. All right. F U C C. I've done enough for now. Sorry for the slow. <laughs> no, I mean slow you're, burn here. You're, you're putting together the the uh, your elite four push here. Like yep. that's, that's legit. I wish seismic toss was like 1.5 times your level. Like it <laughs> could be a useful utility move, but it's just kind of shitty. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that makes a lot more sense at max level. Yeah, because, right. Because it hits for a hundred, and that's great. And if a you... lot of Pokemon hit points are like. 200 something yeah. Yeah. yeah which means like three hit ko so you put that on something that has like super defensive right and it can still kill something in a couple and it turns. ignores type right uh that i'm not sure i think of. it does i i, it I think it, so you don't get I'm the benefit sure. of like stab or super effective but ghosts are immune to it yeah Ghosts I don't think, are still a weird. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's any like resistance or super effective. Because like, seismic is a normal normal type. So. type. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's fighting. All right, oh, well, uh, still same thing for ghosts. They'd still okay. like immune right. to it. So. Come back next time. We're gonna head into Route 23 yeah, in Victory are. Road. Oh my god! Bye. Bye.